the whole idea of this is how to overcome situations, how to how to come up with solutions that are going to lead us into a better future, how to take care of ourselves and our families and, and improve the quality of our lives. That's, that's the reason why we're doing what we're doing, why I'm doing what I'm doing. So it's all about, I don't want to use the word positivity, but it's all about positive feeling, feeling good about who we are. And like I said, and I would always say, one of the first things we all need to do in order to get to know ourselves better is stop telling ourselves lies. When we stop telling ourselves lies, we will be more open with ourselves and we will trust ourselves more. Hence, we'll be able to have more of ourselves revealed to us by our spirit man, stroke woman, or whichever uh, uh, persuasion that you choose to use in order to articulate yourself. You know, we live in a world of severe confusion right now. There are about 19 sexual classifications and uh, not to mention racial classifications which are drifting up towards the 23 number now. I think 23 or 24 different racial classifications in the world where before we just had the basics. Now we have all kinds of variations. And so we drift into further confusion where people are looking for a means of identifying themselves and they just, uh, it gets more and more interesting. Uh, well, like I said, today is not really about drifting into that world. I want us to focus more on solutions, solutions today. All right, so today we're going to talk about personal power. Apart from what I said, we're going to talk about personal power, the kind of power that we have individually and how we're going to use that power in order to improve the quality of our lives, in order to improve the quality of our thoughts, and in order to improve the conversations that we have, the internal conversations that sort of like permeate our actions, that permeate our actions, not sort of. The internal conversations permeate actions. I'm still getting used to this idea of talking in front of a camera, so you would have to bear with me and uh, give me the chance to grow in my confidence doing this and make sure that I can inform you as best as I can with the information that I have. So, I made some notes. Personal power. With regards to personal power, I guess the, the, the name is more or less saying what it is. Personal and power. The power is personal, which is my power my individual power, but what kind of power are we talking about? Physical power? Maybe that's part of it. Uh, mental power, spiritual power, perhaps all of the above. The culmination of all of these powers in order to form that which keeps me grounded and that which allows me to expand my awareness and reinvent myself if the need calls for that improve the quality of my character and by doing so improve the quality of the world that I exist in. So personal power is an important thing to think about, to contemplate on how best to use. You know, for me what I do is I've said one of the things that I chose to do was stop telling myself lies. And when I stopped telling myself lies, I would always catch myself whenever I am procrastinating or whenever I'm in denial or whenever uh, I'm feeling, I, I'm putting that self-inflicting victimization mentality on or whenever I am afraid of taking, taking on a challenge or whenever I have doubts about my own self-confidence. See, when I tell myself the truth, I can actually track all these things and then I can make the necessary adjustments in order to feel more confident, in order to feel brave, in order to you know, amplify the courage that I have in order to take the next step. So practical situations would be starting a business. I want to start a business and I have the funds in order to have the initial uh, capital in order to get the business off and running, uh, but I choose to look for 
more situations to be verified before I start the business when I can just start the business and then verify those situations. So I look at, oh, have I got this done? Oh, have I got that done? Oh, have I got that done? And I'm expanding my checklist. In reality, I'm afraid. I'm procrastinating because I'm afraid. And so I tell myself, you know what? This is a gamble, I know. It is not guaranteed that I would succeed, I know. But at least I'll try. And when I try, whatever the outcome is, I'll learn from it and I'll move on. And that's a very, very basic example, but that's really how it is. You know, it's really about taking that next step and not being over cautious about uh, what you have or haven't done, but just believing that whatever happens in front, you'll be able to deal with it. And you take it as it comes. And it's the same thing with the world that we live in right now. So many things are very confusing. So many things are very scary. But ultimately, tomorrow is going to come. It doesn't matter what you do, tomorrow will come. So you might as well just accept the fact that today is moving on, move on with it, and then whatever comes tomorrow, we deal with it then. So with personal power, you're able to readjust your thinking and reapply your enthusiasm in order to get the kind of result that you desire. That's why personal power is very important. Now, this is not very detailed and is not very scientific in terms of explanation because I'm not giving you all the big worded uh, postulations. <laughs> if that word is applicable. But I'm giving you a practical example based on what I have done because that practical example with regards to business is something that I have done. I've been through it one or two times and even even before I set up this podcast, I was going through the exact same thing. Oh, will people tune in? Oh, what, what would I say? You know, I didn't sell that many books. I'm not that well known. And I had all of these things playing in my head. And I just, you know what? I just started it. I didn't care about all the other uh, issues that would stop me from doing it. I just decided, you know, this is something I want to do. This is something I feel like I should do. I want to be able to make some kind of contribution by offering the information that I have in my head, the experiences that I've had, observation and uh, research, things that I, I can validate bring about results and then share that with people who want to listen. If I can help one person, that's one person I have helped and that one person can help another one person and by virtue of that, I've paid it forward. So it's not really about having everything consolidated before you start. It's about starting and then building. And the same thing with even the business that I have. When we started, it was next to nothing. It was uh, just an idea. And now the business is uh, relatively successful and uh, you know we have uh, multiple outlets and so on and so forth. I, I tend not to bring the business into this too much, but uh, just as a practical example. So with regards to personal power today, uh, what I'm going to say and conclude on is the personal power, if you separate it from the belief in yourself, then it becomes more of an abstract issue that you want to grasp on the external. But the personal power, is, in my opinion, is on the internal. So it's the belief you have in yourself, and that belief is strengthened through honesty, self-honesty. If you keep that self-honesty going, I'm certain that you'd be able to expand the belief, expand the awareness, and expand the consciousness, the bravery, and you'll be able to overcome much more situations and take more risks with regards to reaffirming your position in the grand scheme of things. So uh, with that, I would uh, draw a conclusion to today and 
Uh, yeah, we have a quote for the day. I'm going to put it up, but uh, I'll read it. I'm looking at it right now. And it's from Anthony Robbins. And it's probably summar it probably summarizes everything that we have just said. It says, personal power is the ability to take action. That's it. Personal power is the ability to take action. Nice and simple. So, that is from Anthony Robbins. We'll put it on screen so you can actually see it. I uh, hope you have learned something. I hope you have given you some information that would be useful. Uh, I look forward to speaking to you another time. Please, if you enjoy this video, or if you enjoy any videos that I do, please uh, don't forget to click the like button. Leave a comment below. Tell, tell me what you think and make suggestions on what you believe we should do with regards to the format of the show. And if you have any questions, please send us your questions and uh, I would answer the questions that you have. Whatever comments you want to leave, leave a comment and uh, click to subscribe. As, uh, and uh, subscribe and share. I think that's, that's the only thing I can... I, I can talk about we don't do anything commercial on this channel we don't do any adverts and all that so it's just really about me and you just about me and you okay so thank you again and i wish you a lovely evening thank you